I know I'm recording this shit late again, but I know all the early birds are just dying to wake up at the ass crack of dawn to see who I'm picking in week six fantasy football. Well, since it can't possibly get any fucking worse than last week, I'm feeling pretty confident about my picks this week. I might be being a little overconfident here, but I think I'm going to be placing in the top 30,000 for sure. All right, enough bullshit. Let's get right into the picks. For my quarterback pick this week, I'm going with Deshaun Watson. I don't think the Titans defense is anything incredible, and plus, Bill O'Brien's gone, so I think that's going to free up Watson. Watson to actually do some shit finally, and Brandon Cooks remembered how to play football last week, so that's always a good sign. Houston also has kind of a piss poor defense, so I think the game's gonna be more of a shootout, and I think that's gonna allow Watson to put up a lot of points. My first running back pick is gonna be Derrick Henry, so I'm gonna test the waters again and pick the running back that's going up against the shittiest rush defense in the NFL yet again. James Robinson couldn't get it done last week, but Derrick Henry is just a little bit more skilled at the running back position than James Robinson, so I'm feeling a little bit more confident here. Plus, after seeing Derrick Henry toss around Josh Norman like a fucking ragdoll, how could you not pick him? My next running back pick is going to be Mike Davis. Assuming Christian McCaffrey's out again this week, Mike Davis is literally just going to be Christian McCaffrey's clone. He's had at least 21 touches in every game since becoming the starter, and he's just been very productive. And after seeing Chicago struggle with Ronald Jones, I think it's a safe bet to play Mike Davis here. For my first receiver pick, I'm going to go with Mike Evans. Now, I am a Packers fan, so I do see more Green Bay games than any other NFL team. And usually, whenever I watch them, their fucking defense always allows the opposing team's best player to just have an enormous day. I know their defense has been pretty damn good so far this year, but again, it's it just always seems that way. It just seems like they always allow the opposing team's best player to just go off. And plus, Mike Evans leads all receivers and touchdowns right now. And if Chris Godwin doesn't play, it's just going to mean more targets for him and more opportunity. So who knows, he might have 500 yards and seven touchdowns this game. My second receiver pick is going to be Devontae Parker. It's the New York Jets. I'm boarding the hype train for my last receiver pick, and that's going to be Chase Claypool. We all know he had an unbelievable game last week against Philadelphia, and while I don't expect him to have four touchdowns every game, I think he's still going to be a pretty nice target. His targets have gone up every single game he's played, and last week was actually his first start of the season, so it appears he's going to get a lot more opportunity. The Browns being the third worst pass defense in the NFL kind of helps too. Moving on to tight end, I'm going to be picking Austin Hooper. Trying to find a decent tight end to use in fantasy this year is more painful than trying to take a shit while having a hemorrhoids flare up. So yeah, I chose Austin Hooper this week because he's cheap, obviously. But over the last two games, he has been very productive. He's had five catches in both games, and he's just more involved in the offense, it looks like. But most likely, he'll probably shit the bed. For my flex pick, I'm going to go with Alexander Madison. Delvin Cook is most likely not playing this game. And in the time that Madison has saw the field, he actually has been pretty productive. I'm sure he'll probably get pretty close to the workload that Delvin Cook usually does. And plus, it's fucking Atlanta's defense, so there's massive upside here. I'm sure over the last couple days, Atlanta's brought in a couple people from off the street to help play defense. But even so, I don't think that's going to help them too much. And lastly, you have the defense, and I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins. The Jets' offense is currently the worst in the NFL in terms of points. It seems like both New York teams are just trying to compete with each other on who can be the most dysfunctional team. But as of right now, it looks like it's the Jets. It's really hard to believe, you know, because Adam Gase is just an incredible head coach. He is just an offensive genius. It's 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 hard to believe that this offense is struggling as much as it is. But no, seriously, Adam Gase really knows how to squander any talent that he has on a team. If you Google search Adam Gase, the very first picture that you see will be him just having the, the dumbest fucking look on his face. He just looks so confused. He's probably making that face after he found out he'd have Le'Veon Bell on his team. He's probably thinking to himself like, oh fuck, talent. Talent, we don't allow that shit here. We are, get him the fuck out of here. Get him the fuck out of here. We don't we don't want talent on this team. Can't you see I'm trying to further destroy this franchise? Sorry, I got a little off topic there, but anyway, yeah, I'm going with the Dolphins defense against that high-powered Jets offense. I'm feeling pretty good about the Dolphins. So yeah, these are my picks for the week. Look forward to winning big money. Hopefully you guys can too. Later.